it was clear they were going to win this division. And they had these really good young pitching. You really started to sense that the momentum was changing big time. And then you had them going to the World Series. I, I could sense it. I could feel it. And the fact that these three are all about sharing with each other is what makes it really special. They really enjoy each other's success. And that's rare. It's a really good bond. When it's that class that you came in with, you kind of went through everything with them. Being around each other, living with each other, playing with each other for four years, it's, there's no greater connection. They all struggled early on. They've all had their issues. Growing up is not easy in our program. And yet they've all come out on the other side. They may be the three best players in the country right now. And you have to communicate with your teammates and you have to learn to play together. You've got to be ready, not when you want to, but you have to play every day. You better bring it to practice every day. If you don't do these things, you're not playing. Oh, Syndergaard or you know, Matt Harvey, those guys don't care that, that they're showing their personalities and that it makes them easier to, you know, to turn up the pressure on them and all that. They don't care. Fitty Field comes to a fitting close. He struck him out. I have a little more confidence than that guy out there. I'm at a little bit more of an advantage. It transpired. When you go out in the world and everybody wants a piece of you, After last night, it's kind of like the party's over. You got the one, two, three. Yeah. Let's go. Let's break up. Go. Quick late. Last season, Gino won his 10th national championship. That ties John Wooden. So they're going to go for an 11th championship this year, but they're also going for a fourth straight. So you're talking about Brianna Stewart, Morgan Tuck, and Mariah Jefferson. Hype man, hype man, hype man, hype man. And maybe they would tell you as freshmen or sophomores, they didn't totally understand how much it takes. Not one of our big guys can guard a guard and keep them from getting a jump shot. And the best player in the country is standing out there wide open, and we don't see that. That it isn't going to be the physical things that, that, that end up getting you beaten more. Everyone wants to be remembered for something and it's tough to top what this group is trying to do right here. You know, Brianna Stewart and Mariah Jefferson and Morgan Tuck could say that there's the team that won four in a row or there's the player that won four national championships or if it plays out there's Brianna Stewart who was most outstanding player of the final four four straight years. With other players as well while you're getting into the conference season now how do you plan to to work these guys into the rotation who haven't played that many minutes? Uh... There's going to be some games where people play a lot of minutes, and there's going to be some games where they don't play a lot of minutes. Here, it's another homecoming game for Mariah Jefferson. 20 minutes from her home where she grew up, and now as a senior. Nothing more exciting than to come back to where you grew up. She's going to have between 50 and 100 people here today to watch her. So incredibly exciting. And when you think about You talk about always in command, always in control. It's not a stretch to call her the best point guard in the nation because she earned that award last year, the Nancy Lieberman Award for the best point guard in the nation. It runs into a basket support that we're like, she's probably got that Texas background that maybe in a different life, she would be a football player. And I think that's probably part of just how she came up. You've got to be tough down here, whatever sport you play. Maybe it's that Texas mentality. We didn't discover basketball until my oldest son was probably seven or eight years old. And Mariah wouldn't have nothing to do with it. I would tell you, you don't want to do that? She'd go, mm-mm. She's from Texas. Gino never got a Texas girl. And now this will be it for Mariah Jefferson here in Dallas. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Representing well, all right? <laughs> huh? I think the game that how much she's grown as, as a player. Where's my mom? Does anybody know her? Ah, meet the Mets, meet the Mets. Come on out and greet the Mets. Bring the kitties, bring the wife.
guaranteed to have the time of your life because the Mets are really sacking the ball. Hitting the home runs over the wall. East side, west side, everybody's coming down. There's a great following here. These guys are diehard. I love. I think rivalries need the test of time. But if you were looking at a face of the program, it would be Brianna Stewart as the player of the year in the country. He wants her to achieve what she, she said she wanted to achieve. So, so what does that mean? She said, it's definitely tougher than you thought. She's in a place right now where do I have every piece in, in place to be able to do it? When she was a freshman, she was one of those pieces. Now that she's a senior, she's looking around going, do I have the other pieces that I'm going to need? If you're one of our younger players, you should look at our seniors. She barely tries and, and, and gets triple doubles. She barely tries. So you want your young players to emulate someone who barely tries? No. He did it to Diana Taurasi. He did it really hard to Tina Charles. Because he sees these things in these kids, and he doesn't want it to go to waste. Any great question, and the, and the answer to that is everything is on the process. We know what it's like, we know what it feels like. Uh, but we if anything, maybe I think we're coming with a little chip on our shoulder that this is our year. Mets fans are hungry. Uh, we're hungry. You know, we understand, you know, what, and I understand what we've been through, you know, these last nine years. proportions that um, are almost unimaginable. Appreciated the fact that he came to the park every day and some special might happen. In the life of being a Mets fan, from the inception of the team and the frustration. Last two months, the hot streak the Mets had, and then how the Nationals collapsed. Que no tengas, no seas un nivel alto. Tienes la posibilidad de comprar lo que you know, when did you really fall in love with the game? Bueno, creo que desde prácticamente de que estaba en la barriga de mi madre. Things that come up that we try to manipulate are how are you going to react under pressure? She missed it. She looks over at me, looks over at you, just hoping that we say something that'll make her feel better. How are you going to perform when? We got guys that come out here, they miss a shot, they miss two shots, then they pout for the rest of the goddamn week. Then trust us. Trust us. Coach thinks I can do this. Well. Obviously there's things we can get better at, and that's why we have the rest of February. And, you know, I think you're going to get an impact from, from everyone on this team. And you can definitely tell that this team is, is championship ready. It's difficult for young players to understand how, because they're capable of doing more. If they weren't capable of doing more. And if you think that that's what's going to get you out on the floor, the fact that you can score a lot of points in high school, that's not going to happen. I rely on your talent at the high school level, but just coming to here and just playing this level of basketball. Yeah, I agree. Um, because everyone is so good on this team, you have to bring something else. Everyone's talented, you have to bring something else to the table. And, you know, now it's my turn. She's been a really good help for me. She's taken me out to dinner a lot, we've talked a lot. She's there for me when I'm a little down, and she really um, just has been there for me, with whether it's basketball or something else. When I was a freshman, I said I want four national championships, and Coach, what he's helped me accomplish individually and, you know, along with this team. I mean, it sucks when you're in it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, many a dorm room night were spent talking a lot of crap, but um, at the same time, you know, I think if you were to ask any of us, you know, any alumni, they're better for it, and not only that, but thankful for it. And then, if it were to happen, 
you would really, really sit back and go. Thirty summers ago, Queens was the center of the baseball universe. The Mets and their fans. Tonight, we celebrate the resilient, beloved, and immensely talented 1986 world champion New York Mets. Comes and jumps in his arm, and you know, you're rushing to the middle part of the field, and you see the celebration, and you see the players, and, and you realize that you have accomplished something great that most players dream about is not just getting to the World Series. I mean, it's a lot of guys get there, but winning 